Hey everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. On the table in front of me that I will be, I was going to say interviewing, but I will be reviewing, is the CJRB Gobi. Now, why do I have two of them here? Well, this is the ZT Sinkovich Design 0460 Titanium. These are both Persian style knives. Now, in my opinion, completely different, completely different looking. So you can see you, they both have the Persian style blade, a little bit up, slept. there's a little more belly on the CJRB than there is on the ZT. The handle on the ZT, in my opinion, is a lot more um, defined or almost harsh would be a good word, whereas the CJRB is not. It is a lot smoother. It has a different angle to it. It has a different end to it. So I just want to get that out of the way really fast. Just let you guys know what I think. Um, I, I know I've been hearing a lot about it. And I honestly, I just don't agree with it. I don't at all. So we're just going to put this little ZT here away. And we're going to move on over to the CJRB. Now, this is a beautiful knife. So don't get me wrong, I love the ZT too, but I do like some of these Persian blades. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This is a D2 blade. It is a liner lock. It is a G10 scale. Very smooth, by the way. Um, you know, we're trying to find out if that was titanium or just aluminum backspacer. We're not actually sure. Um, it does have a deep carry pocket clip. However, that deep carry po pocket clip actually tends to stick out about, you know, if you put that down, you're still going to be having maybe about almost a half an inch sticking out of your pocket. So although it is deep carry, it is not riding extremely low in the pocket. You still have a little bit there hanging out. Um, like I said, it is a D2 blade. It's got this br a beautiful upswept blade here. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. It is a reversible pocket clip. I don't know if I said that, so it is ambidextrous. Um, the actual liner lock itself has a cutout where this liner locks, the liner sits just above the G10 on this knife, which does make it much easier to get to. Um, this is a fun knife. It's smooth. It's got, like I said, a beautiful shape to it. Now your blade length total is one, two, three, uh, three and a half, three and three quarter inch blade. Your total handle length on this is one, two, three, four, four, and you know, a little bit over a half, maybe almost four and three quarter inch handle. So your total overall length is just over eight inches inches. Now, I do not have my scale. I'm actually, pardon me for bumping the table. I'm going to grab that really quick so we can see what that weight is. And of course, I've got the trusty Weight Watcher scale. Woo! All right, let's take a look here. So we are looking at in ounces, which you guys probably can't see that. There we go. In ounces, we are talking about three and a half ounces. Or for those of you that like, we are talking about 100 grams. So again, this is, you know, by all means, it is not a small knife. So normally it is not something that I would buy lengthwise because I would consider it a very large knife. Um, but the way the handle is, the ergonomics on the handle, it really does fit well in hand. So although it is a smaller knife, because of the angle, it fits really good. You can really, you know, get up there. You have jimping kind of on the bottom of your flipper here. So when you are choking up on it, your fingers are not going to go anywhere. It feels really good. Um, it's just a pretty looking blade. I mean... You can't go wrong with this. Is that not just absolutely gorgeous? Look at that. I'm not so sure about the yellow on the back space, right? You know, I'd love to maybe see just plain silver, maybe a different color. Um, I 
don't know why they actually use that. It's kind of interesting. Uh, like I said, though, it is a very smooth flipper. And pardon my nails, people. I have not done them. But this is fun. It's a smooth flipper. It's fun to flip. I mean, it is, it's a pretty little strong knife. So I used it to cut up some boxes and I'll tell you, it just sliced right through them. And the nice part is your cutting edge on this, because of the length, because of the fact that it's all the way up on that per curve, it is, I mean, you're, you're talking one, two, three and a half inches of cutting surface. So, you know, you're doing a pull cut, you're cutting out your uh, cardboard in half, whatever, you can really get in there and get to the tip. So instead of having to pull your arm the whole time, you can really just slide it and get in there like that so you can really edge up. This is a great knife. Definitely something that you guys need to check out. Um, I believe my husband said, and I will double check on that. So hang on one second and let me see. Okay, so you can actually get this Gobi from between 35 and 40 bucks. So, when it's released, it is not actually released yet. So, this is on loan to us for review. If you can get your hands on one of these, definitely get your hands on one of these. Um, CGRB is doing a fabulous budget line of knives. Um, definitely something that I am loving most of their designs. Um, I really haven't found one yet that I don't care for too much. Size-wise, they've been really good. Um, most of them are D2 as far as I know. But, you know, really the craftsmanship is really good on these. So they're definitely worth looking into. Well, thank you guys for joining me so much. This has been the CJRB Gobi. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video. And thank you if you're already subscribing. If you're not, I'd love to have you here full-time. I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me.